Hello everybody, this is Charles and I'm back with another toy review This time for Bandai's Super Robot Chogoki Mazinkaiser SKL Alright, so uh, Mazinkaiser SKL is sort of a uh, reissue reproduction of the uh, the uh, Mazinkaiser SKL that was released many years ago as a DVD exclusive But you can see this box is extremely huge, mainly because of the cape So without further ado, here is the figure itself This is uh, Mazinkaiser SKL, alright so uh, it's a very articulated figure, all right. In terms of diecast content, all right, uh, it's only in the chest part. Okay, this top chest, front and back, the uh, ball joints at the hip over here, the lower legs, this black part, all right, is diecast, and the uh, joint. Let me just pop it out. The shoulder joint over here is diecast. Apart from that, it's all plastic, but it does feel uh, really, really heavy. So this is a uh, Mazinkaiser SKL, and uh, just do a quick comparison with the original Mazinkaiser SKL. Alright, as you can see, it's not purely a reproduction, but actually a uh, upsize of the original Mazin Kaiser SKL. Okay, for sure, I'm just gonna call him SKL, right, for the review. So in terms of size, we can see obviously that they actually uh, increase the size easily by, I guess, uh, 30%, around 30%. And um, besides uh, increasing the size, they also change the colors a little bit. For example, the gold. Alright, the gold for the original SKL is more of a yellowish uh, tinge of gold. Let me just. Uh... Alright, I have the lights on, this will be uh, better right now. So the tinge of gold here is more like um, a little bit yellowish, whereas this is like a more golden, you know, sort of gold. As you can see, as well, uh, over here for the uh, legs part. So it's a different shade of gold And for the red wise, um, the SKL, uh, the original version is here has a metallic red finishing for both the arms and the chest Whereas this is more like a matte red So uh, apart from that, let me just take a look at the grey right. So over here at the uh, this uh, blade part, or the shoulder blade This is of a darker grey, like gunmetal uh, blade, uh, grey Whereas uh, this is like a like a normal silver color so there's a difference between the colors itself and for the uh, powder you can actually remove the skull for this alright the original version but for the uh, new SKL you can't remove this it's actually fixed over there and also we look at the um, arms wise you can see gunmetal silver over here gunmetal silver gunmetal grey whereas this is like a chromish uh, matte grey alright same as the uh, for the Thighs, all right. Okay, gun metal silver. Okay, matte silver. So whatever is um, gun metal silver for this SKL is actually matte silver over here. So basically, that's the difference that you see. And even for the weapon wise, they actually upsize it as well. So see, you have a much bigger weapon now compared to the original one. Much more massive, but still as sharp. And the color of the uh, teeth, uh, different shade of gold, and the handles are different color shade of gold as well. Alright, so I'm going to put this SKL away for the time being Okay, and then here's a comparison of uh, Mazin Kaiser with SKL So they are more or less to scale with each other Which is a very very good thing And uh, one feature that uh, they didn't actually tell you but it's actually quite cool Is that the cape for SKL can actually fit on uh, Mazin Kaiser So see, you can actually fit the cape up here the packs are exactly the same, so it's really cool that you can fit the cape over here. So your Mazin Kaiser can actually wear the cape. You can't put the front part though, due to the uh, way that the chest part is made. You can't fit it in. I tried it, but you can't fit it in. But the packs at the back are exactly the same, so you can actually fit the cape on the back of uh, Mazin Kaiser if you want to, which is really really cool. And alternatively, the jet scrambler, <coughs> you can also fit it into uh, SKL, which is cool. So there's some interchangeable interplayability as well. So you see, we can have the uh, Jet scrambler, uh, scrambler on the Mazin Kaiser SKL as well So it's cool, they can interchange their parts Which is way 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 awesome Alright, let me just take this out for the time being Right, put this figure aside Okay, I'm gonna put this aside Okay, oops, I just knocked my backdrop Oops, alright, let me just get my backdrop up and running again Support it Okay, so Mazin Kaiser SKL right now, I'm just going to go through uh, the articulation for this piece So I'm just going to take out the chest part first, alright, it's easier for me to go through the uh, articulation this way So for the head wise, neck wise, he, has, uh, he actually bend all the way back quite a lot There's some side rotation, 360 rotation for the head, okay 
and for the chest part okay for the torso you can actually pull it out okay there's a double extension extension at the lower waist and at the upper torso okay this will give you more range of motion forward and backwards all right and sideways as well the shoulders are amazing okay you can actually move it up oops this joint actually pop out no matter so you can actually move it out this much okay move it out this much so if you need your shoulders to be up you can be up more than 90 degrees which is really really cool all right and um, he doesn't have any uh, rotation over here at the uh, upper shoulder but the, he does have elbow rotation so if you need to rotate he has the elbow rotation at the lower elbow and he has double jointed elbows as well which you can see that gives you a lot of articulation you can actually bend the arms to this extent which is really cool really really cool waist wise uh, wrist wise sorry full 360 rotation all right and then in terms of his uh, legs wise you can actually spread the uh, hips out this much which is again very very cool and you can move it backwards about this much uh, I guess it's about close to 70 degrees you can move it upwards here close to 90 degrees there's the uh, clicky joints over here and double jointed knees as you can see and he can actually do a kneeling pose which is typical of most uh, super robot chokokin toys which is really cool to be able to do a kneeling pose all right this is really cool all right so you can do a kneeling pose with ease okay and apart from that you can actually extend the feet as well okay so if you extend the feet it can give you more range of motion you can actually stretch it uh, and turn it even more frontwards backwards and uh, sideways which is cool so if you want to do a really really dynamic pose you can just really have it stretch all the way outwards this is almost as much as you can stretch outwards really big stance really really big stance okay let me just pop all this back in first okay and i'm gonna pop this uh chest part back in so one of the cool features of this uh Mazin kaiser uh skl rather okay let me just pop the chest part in properly first okay okay got it in nicely okay it's, it's his cape all right this cape is really awesome so let me just put him here first this cape really really awesome lots of articulation lots of movement you can really do a lot of poses with the cape but do be careful because the uh, parts here i think the I'm not sure how strong these uh, joints are, but uh, I guess moving them, you've got to be really, really careful not to turn them in the wrong direction. You've got to make sure you adjust them nicely before you move them, just in case you break anything. Because uh, these are like Rebel Tech joints. I'm not sure how strong or, or stiff they are, but uh, just be careful, you know, in case you break anything. Similarly, for the front part, all right, these are they're held by Rebel Tech joints. So just be careful when you move them. So in order for, for the cape to actually uh, you just, all, all you need to do to uh, form the cape is actually just to put these two parts together all right nicely in place all right this is done so to put the cape on Mazin Kaiser my backdrop don't drop okay you gotta take out the head all right and you just uh, slot him in this way these parts okay go to the back of the uh, red crest and at the back there's a pack for you just uh, pack it in place oops okay something popped out no worries no worries okay little minor 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 issue let me just take this out again okay you might face a little bit of a uh, of a challenge when you try to put it in together but mostly it was okay when i did the uh, trial earlier on it was okay so i must have been a little bit uh not careful for this so put it in here find the hole over here pack it in all right nicely okay once you're done over here just uh plug the head back in and there you have mazing kaiser skl with his cape wow 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 so the cape rests really really well on him and he looks really impressive you know it looks like a looks like a pirate you know like a pirate king uh with that massive cape and then if you want to do some diorama you have the cape spread out you know as if he's uh, coming down from the sky and things like this really really cool i mean i i like the the fact that they they actually gave this cape as an add-on and of course uh, like i mentioned earlier as i showed you earlier uh it's also an added bonus that this cape can actually be added on the uh, mazin kaiser figure as well so this is really really cool so in terms of weaponry or right, apart from uh, a giant sword that he has you can actually take this out okay 
This part tends to uh, actually fall out easily, but no matter, you can just clip it back in, all right? So once you take this out, you can actually pull these two parts out. They will form the gun. So what it comes in the box is uh, these two additional silver blades. Okay, this is one whole piece. All right, these two silver blades, all you need to do just to uh, plug it in this way to form the gun. Plug it in this way to form the gun. And then uh, what you need to do is just to pull it into his arm, uh, his hand. Okay, there's an open hand for you to pull it in. Okay, it does take a little bit of uh, doing to adjust him in. Okay, slot in nicely. So one gun is here. Let me just uh, place it into his um, hand. Okay, so there we have uh, one of the hands carrying the uh, gun. It's really cool. Yep, I'm gonna have one of the hands uh, carry the um, blade, which I've actually done it earlier. So this one, you have to put the uh, skull back here. Okay, adjust it nicely. Okay, put it back in here. And prior to the review, actually uh, put the arm, uh, <coughs> put the blade onto the uh, the hand. And you can actually extend the blade if you want to. So if you want to do a pose where you want him to hold two, uh, use two hands to hold the blade to show uh, like a chopping pose, uh, you can do it as well. Okay, else you can just put it this way. Okay, slot it in nicely. Or you can just extend it all the way. Uh, he can actually hold it. Yeah, support it on the on the uh, floor, on the ground. So this is uh, Mazin Kaiser SKL. So look at the uh, details of this piece. Really, really cool. Really awesome. Okay, I think I need to uh, align the. Uh, chest part a little bit because it's coming off. Let me just uh, spend a little while. Just align it. Okay, got it done nicely. Get all the excess parts out. Cool, all right. Right, so this is uh, Mazin Kaiser SKL. Okay, holding his gun, holding his uh, badass sword. So this is a really big and uh, massive figure. I think it's really detailed and well done. Uh, kudos to Bandai for actually bothering to uh, remo, okay, to expand the size rather than do a straight reissue. Okay, we all thought it was a straight reissue or of the uh, original SKL, but it seems that they actually put in the effort to actually resize him. So which is a good thing. I mean, they resize him. It's a whole completely new mo. All right. So. Um, I think uh, those of you who actually own this, and this, uh, mind you, actually costs a lot of money. And I think the last I saw, it was selling at five or six hundred US dollars for this original version with the DVD. So I'm not sure whether the, um, the, ish, the with the launch or release of this uh, Mazin Kaiser SKL, it will cost the price of the, uh, this, this, this piece to drop. Because after all, he is bigger, and he is actually, in a sense, the same character. Uh, but I guess um, this guy will actually hold his value in a sense that it's a different toy and plus the color of this, this toy, okay, this figure is actually um, significantly different. I mean you get gun metal grey, gun metal silver on, on the uh, elbows, the uh, thighs and the uh, waist. I think uh, the gun metal silver itself and the metallic red is a very standout point and I think it's one of the reasons why a lot of collectors probably want him as well because the color is so so impressive so Bandai in releasing uh, this piece all right actually uh, gave us actually a different uh, totally to totally different uh, toy so I, I guess this guy's value will hold it probably wouldn't be five six hundred US dollars anymore maybe three four hundred dollars but he will hold because he is like a one-time production and he will never be issued anymore uh, this guy this SKL I have a feeling that they will release a version 2. I mean, they did a Chokoking Z version for this, which is like chrome chrome parts to actually replace the uh, silver parts. So I'm not sh I wouldn't be surprised if they do a uh, Chokoking Z version whereby they replace the silver parts with chrome parts as well. So uh, here's Charles signing off with yet another toy review. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Do stay tuned to my channel for more reviews next time.